Hello Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> All right, overall energy is feeling rejected, it's taking a risk, taking a trip, one more please, getting clarity. Okay, withholding, okay, I'm not gonna take that one. All right, so it could be that somebody is feeling rejected and they're going to risk communication, risk taking a trip, risk coming to see you, or this is you risking to see them, or this could be someone else in a third party, because um, somebody needs to know something. Someone is feeling rejected, and they say they want to know like what's going on, why, why this is, is why this is happening. So again, the long distance trip doesn't need to be super far. It's going to vary. Um, all right. What is the overall energy? Someone is feeling very sad. Look at that five of cups. It looks just like the card. Five of Cups. So overall energy is a Five of Cups. How you are feeling or your side is the Seven of Coins looking at the past. How they are feeling right now is they feel defeated. Okay. You're under the deck right now. There's a King of Coins here. There could be um, obviously a Earth sign, someone you're married to, someone you worked with. We also have the Moon, Pisces, but again, someone someone is confused. This could have been part of a third party, possibly. Three of Cups is there. We'll see. Okay, what is the Five of Cups? So somebody's moving on. Looks like they're feeling sad, though, as they go to something unknown, or they're just not sure overall. It could be a Pisces energy. Seven of Coins. Page of Swords, Three of Cups. So there could have been a third party in the situation, obviously, with this energy. It could be spying. Someone could be spying on you. If it's not a third party, that's just friends, that's being happy, that's, you know, dating, that's just enjoying life. Could be looking back. Could be looking back at, like, things were really good. So what happened? Okay, they had the Ten of Swords energy. And, of course, this could be switched around. Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. So this person is very heartbroken. So, again, we have a King of Coins under here. Could be, again, like I mentioned. Um, okay, now I'm noticing under here there's a Queen of Cups so next to this King of Coins. So I don't know if there was a water sign involved anywhere. There's just like falling in love. Because look at Aces, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands. I don't know if this is you falling in love or this is a third person. We also have a King of Cups back here. I kind of feel like maybe possibly for some of you someone changed. Maybe someone was very romantic and loving and then they kind of shifted gears and changed and became more about like the stability, the money, um, Again, look at it in this deck. I have the King of... Did I ever show this to you? It's like the same cards. Maybe I did. But again, you're sitting next to a King of Coin in this deck also. Someone's hanging on. So again, could be you, could be them. But why is this all happening? Why is this all happening? Seven of Cups. Okay, so someone is confused. Somebody has too many options. Somebody thinks they have too many options. But again, this is needing to get clarity. Seven of Cups. Queen of Cups, the King of Coin, we do one more, the Chariot moving on or moving forward. So again, I don't know if this is someone you fell in love with and then they kind of changed, shifted gears, or you found out about a third party, or if the third party is a water sign involved in this, maybe specifically a Cancer, or like, again, did this person, were you guys together, or Pisces, did you guys, were you guys together happy, then boom, it, it changed, and all of a sudden it's like it's over, and like you want clarity, or they want clarity. Somebody here doesn't understand. Now for some of you, the clarity might be that there is a third person, there's a water sign involved. How do you feel about this person? Wow. You may not even care, but um, it could be an earth, I'm sorry, fire sign like you. But again, if this is how you're feeling, you're kind of more concerned about yourself. Or you think they're pretty much, I don't want to say obsessed. They think about you, but how do they feel about you? How do they view you? Okay, catch. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, you may be at a point where you're kind of like, I'm done with this situation. So instead of really thinking about them, instead of thinking about what they're doing or worrying about it, you're in your own energy. You're like, you know what, I'm going to focus on me. Because if they did leave you for someone else, you're maybe done with that. And you're like, you know what? I'm more important. Now, they're looking at you as a nine of coins. So, again, this makes sense of why you'd be thinking about yourself. They see you as being a good catch, taking care of yourself, independent. You got money. You know, they see you as not caring about this situation, but you only care about yourself, which is a good thing. So, 
when you view them, you think about the Queen of Wands yourself, I'm assuming. They could be another fire sign like you, but let's see. Fool and the Four of Swords. Three of Coins, working together, working with other people. Again, this is under like how you view them, how you feel about them. You may see that maybe that they did, they just left abruptly and don't communicate with you and they're dealing with someone else, working together with that person. There's a third person. Now again, because it's you though, in your own energy, this could be you wanting to move on and not care. So it's kind of hard for me to see which way that's going, but they view you as a nine of coins. Yeah, see, this is them, though. This is how they view you. So they've used the Nine of Coins, but yet they are I think they're worried that you're walking away, and now they're seeing things differently. They're seeing you differently. So this, again, could be definitely your energy of you just moving on and not caring about them anymore. And just, again, this could all be switched around, of course. What is the potential outcome for this situation? We have Six of Cups, the past. What is the Six of Cups? Okay, this person is not over this. I, I The reading is saying this person is feeling rejected. This person wants to come see you and talk to you. This may not be who you're thinking about, just so you know, for some of you. This might be someone who does live far, someone you do know through work, somebody you talk to through email, um, over the phone at work. This might not be the person, like it may not be an ex. This could be someone else. Just putting it out there for some of you because it's almost kind of looks like you don't even think about this person. You may not, be, that's what I'm saying. You may not even think about this person because it's not the person you're thinking about because so you're like, you don't care. You're thinking about you. The, ener the energy in the reading is showing that you're thinking about you and you're, you're worried about yourself and doing your own thing and you don't, you don't have a care. You're busy with friends, work, shining, whatever you're doing three, you know what I'm saying? This may not be, again, and I'm repeating myself, not the person that you initially are feeling or thinking this reading is about. This is someone who may definitely be married. And maybe you're just like, you met them, you liked them, but you found out they were married. You're like, well, hell with that. This person sees you, though, again, like it's over, but they don't want it to be. This person's going to take a risk. Now I'm getting the, the messages. They're married or they don't know how you feel about them. This is like the moon, like always wondering. Um, always wondering how you're feeling always one like you know that that horrible feeling of like did they like me what do they think about me should I take a chance and say something yes so don't blame this person if they actually take that chance and put it out there and say this is how I'm feeling and you don't really like them they need clarity so that they can close it close the chapter close the book unless you like them you might like this person because this is weighing on them the past is weighing on them they want to see you again they want to talk to you again they want to know how you're feeling. There was some type of connection here. They felt it with the Six of Cups and the High Priestess. It was a past life soul connection. But again, and this happens a lot of times I find in personal readings, you're married or they're married. It's like, well, why did this happen? It's bad timing. It just, it just does. Let me pull uh, from a different deck to see maybe this person's character. This one. Good or bad, these cards have both good and bad, but we need to know. So someone is going to come back in and... See what you're thinking, feeling, or doing. Because this makes sense now, too. It's like they, they went on a trip. They're with a water sign. They left. You're wondering, or they're wondering, Seven of Cups. Sagittarius. So, all right. Tell us about this person's character. And I'm going to go back up here to the Three of Cups. They could be educated. This could be long-distance lover. Maybe very sexy. One more, please. And they have integrity. So maybe they were married, they were interested in you, but they decided that was not a good idea. But um, what's the Three of Cups here? What is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, it was like this person, there's a third party or Virgo or somebody, like you didn't hear from them, they disappear. Okay, for some of you, this person just up and disappeared because of um, they were already married or in a re you know, relationship. I feel like some of you waited for this person. May have waited seven months, seven weeks, seven back in 2007. I don't know if it would be that far back, but um, again, Page of Swords, spying, watching, communication. Uh, maybe you knew this person was married. I, obviously, some of you did. 
hanging on, feeling overwhelmed, relationship is over. That relationship they're in may be over now. Now they're coming back around to you to see how you're feeling, how you feel about them. Yeah, it's very clear to me, I'm just going to summarize, is that, that someone needs to know how the other person feels. Again, this may be you. Maybe you feel rejected. You want to know answers. You want to know where this could go. There's a possibility now for this person is no longer um, married in a relationship, what I'm seeing. Because this is like, yeah, they took off with somebody else. They took the flight home. And you always wondered. I feel like there's a very strong, again, connection between the two of you. And you guys both want to see is there a possibility of rekindling this? It looks like maybe there is for a lot of you. How do you feel? How do they feel? Yeah, there's just a lot of unknowing here, but I feel like you're going to get clarity with this person. So again, I'm trying to feel for some of you, it may be through work, but it didn't come through strongly. Um, that they may need to, if they can't get a hold of you any other way, they may do something that seems a little bit odd, like contacting you at work, showing up at your job, maybe showing up at your house or something. Um, but. Um, Maybe you're doing this. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there though. Again, this person has a lot of very strong emotions for you. I'm just waiting to see if anything else comes through. That's all. All right, I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. Have a really good week and I'll talk to you soon.